Folks, what's going on? Good to see you. Um, this is kind of just like a totally random improv stream. I saw that um, Evercraft was doing a Flash opening today for people to check it out, play the game a little bit. So I jumped on and decided to do a stream. I had a little bit of extra free time during the day. It's good to see some of you. Hashpipe, Hex, Slask, what's up, what's up? But yeah, so this is Evercraft. It's kind of like an EQ-inspired, um, well, heavily EQ-inspired, Minecraft-styled MMO, as far as I know. I've never played it before, but I've watched uh, some people play it on stream, like Alpha Blue and stuff like that. I think maybe Larry. And um, it was really good. So I'm going to check it out, and here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and create our character. I know literally nothing about the gameplay or what we could do or anything like that. So I'm totally fresh on it. What are we going to be for race? Okay, Dark Elf, a War Wizard. Oh my goodness, Brad would be so happy. Ogre, Psych, miss me with that. A human, looks kind of boring. Wood Elf. What classes are actually in? Human can be like everything, right? Human can't be a bard? I'm just guessing the bard is just not in. Yeah, okay. What is a War Wizard? Are any of these classes new? Butchunder, what's going on, dude? Annie, what's up? Have you seen this at all, Annie? By the way, folks, if you uh, haven't seen it yet, new Drama Quest episode, just hit the streets. Just, just hit early access for patrons. I'm interviewing uh, former EverQuest developer, Zoysite, a.k.a. Gnarly. Some really good topics in there. I had a lot of fun. Somehow, Soysite and I are now planning a fan-made EverQuest convention where we can waste $100,000, so can't wait for that. I don't know what I want to play, dudes. What's what's new? What's popping in here? Let me pull up their Discord. And read the announcement. New class options for humans. Rangers and Beast Lords are now playable for human characters. All right, so we're going to go with uh, Beast Lord, I think. I'm guessing only humans can be those. Yeah, let's go with let's go with Beast Lord. Wolf, what up? What up? Um, ooh, body type. Okay. Annie, thank you so much. Skin tone. Let's go with like that Freeport skin tone. Can we get it? Yeah, there we go. Eye shape. Yeah. We'll go with, with the square jaw. Enigma Factory with the bits. Thank you. I don't know if I'm uh, if I'm able to reveal it yet. I think I can reveal it. They probably won't get mad at me. But I have an upcoming interview with the lead dev, Hidden Tree. The lead dev responsible for this game. So I'm excited for that. Oh, shit. We could be Vegeta. Well, we got to do that. I need, like, a strictly golden hair option. Alright, we'll be a ginger. No souls here. Soulless beast lord. Alright, let's check it out. How's the audio for the game? It's probably a little quiet, right? Let me dial it up a little bit. I'm excited, Enigma. I'm excited. Abrupt, what's up? Good to see you. Community pre-alpha test. Welcome to Evercraft Online. It's time to embark on your adventure in Adrulon. You just arrived in Greenwood Cover, and you are hoping to join the Beast Lord Guild. I am? Okay. First thing on your agenda, locate your guild hall, but beware. Some guilds relish in secrecy. To get started, delve into the note in your inventory by right-clicking the icon. On your exploration, interact with the local NPCs. They're a gold mine of valuable tips, intriguing rumors, and captivating quests. To strike up a conversation, select an NPC and press H, aka hail them. In conversations, remember to engage with highlighted words, phrases, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's just EverQuest so far. I like it. Okay. In the spirit of uh, true EverQuest, I'm not going to read any more of the guide. 
and just assume that we can figure it out. We have sensed the beast inside you. Oh, baby. You have only lived one life, not two. Hand this note to Draven Wildborn to begin your journey. He can usually be found helping to protect wildlife near the center of Greenwood cover. The center of this note has been stamped with what appears to be a giant paw print. I like it. Um, do I have like a... I should have, I should have read the instructions. There we go. Wait, is it stuck? Okay, there we go. Cool. Drag this. I assume this is my weaponry. Let's go, baby. All right. Let me know if this is too loud. The uh, the audio. I like it. Tao Knowles Bane. Let's go. I am actually like incredibly enchanted with this immediately. Like right off the bat, I like it a lot. I'm in the zone that is not sure fall glade. It's like too loud for me in my ears. Press M, no map, good. That's what we'd like to see. Someone's already got a pet. Oh, babe. There's no a C, just opens this up. Okay. Am I looking for Draven? Is that who I, I forget? It is, okay. Like walking all over the place. All right, Draven. What's up? Welcome, friend. I am Draven Wildborn, protector of the animal spirits that inhabit this forest. I feel as though I've already known you for a very long time. Well, let me give him, give him that. Loud. I welcome you under the protection. Uh oh, it's gone. I, it's gone. Where'd it go? Go back. I welcome you under the protection of my pack. A beast lord is nothing without his companion. Before you can command a companion, you must learn about the essence contained in all living things. Prove you understand by bringing four clumps of rabbit fur from a bunny. You can find these bunnies outside the walls of Greenwood, across the river. And uh, is there a way to go forward? Nope. Okay. Let's hail him again. Let's see what we get. Okay. Well, we're off. Let's, uh find some bunnies. Dude, look at this guy. He looks pretty cool. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could get a consider message, but I didn't. Maybe there's like a right-click option. Okay. Enigma, you are uh, one of the developers, I'm guessing, right? You're, you're staff. You have that staff feel about you. It shows when you hover the target window. Ah. Under the portraits, it says friendly. Oh, okay, yeah, you know what? I didn't even look at the portraits. Like, I, I took no time to look around at things first. I just went off into the unknown. A bunny's corpse. All right. Operation 1, ninja loot. Execute. I don't have permission. Okay. The good guys win today. Liver flap, what up? What up? This is super fun. I'm loving it already. Oh, look at those look at those particle effects oh yeah enigma factory where can folks learn more about evercraft online if i need to direct them someplace do we have a skeleton over here a windswept lurch feels hate towards you it is level three so Bad news for me. What is this? Can I... I can gather it. Harvest. Yeah. Okay. And it is uh, worn feathers. Cool. I love gathering things. Like, harvesting just feels nice in MMOs lately. Do these ever open? Oh, they do eventually open. Okay. Not finding any bunnies, but lots of bunny corpses abound. A pine yarn pup. Level one. All right, we're going for that auto attack. My tilde key. What is this? Group invite, sit, stand, and camp. Okay. I crush it for five. You have no chance, pine yarn pup. Pine yarn pup. Oh, that pup had a big yawn. A uh, big, uh, big howl. Abrupt, thanks for the sub. Seven months, let's go. A Lightfoot pup. I like this. I like the 
I like all the different colors that I'm immediately seeing in the uh, in the chat. Not for NPCs yet. I don't remember what I even asked. Daddy, I, I, I don't know. It's not the next one, no. But it's an upcoming one. Hidden Tree, the, the lead dev for Evercraft. Evercraft. Evercraft people watching this are probably like, why couldn't we get a guy to stream this who uh, knows how to speak English? It's terrible. One too many 24-hour streams have left me addled. I'm digging the combat music. This is this is good. Defense, offense, one hand blunt. I want to get a two hand blunt. Let's go. Yeah. Get him. The howl kind of makes me sad. Oh, we got a bunny. Oh, buddy came hard. Two damage right off the bat. I have a bunch of, of uh, interviews that you guys are going to love lined up. Ironing out some last minute dates. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty pretty hyped up for it. How much? Wait, did I did I not get any clumps? I got one clump. Okay, cool. Oh, we got another bun. We got two bunnies. Let's go. Can I drag this? To, maybe not in combat. I'll try again. I really want to make auto attack my number one key. I like to initiate combat with the press of button number one. It is like EverQuest plus Minecraft if they had a baby. So far, that's the, the best way I can describe it. Come on. Yeah. Get over here. There's no sprint button. I need four clumps. Where's my EXP bar? Probably in the C sheet here. Yeah, there we go. Another clump. All right, we need two more. Oh, a sickly cub. Poor dude. All right, evercraftonline.com, and I'm sure there's a Discord link on the webpage. Clump. Oh, I can see my arm. I could just like see right down my next stem. Yeah, there's a bunch of different classes. There, It looked like there was more classes than an EverQuest. They had basically all the EQ classes plus War Wizard on the character select screen that I saw. I chose Beast Lord because it was one of the two new classes, the other one being Ranger. And, you know, Ranger's all right, I guess, but Beast Lord, baby. Get a pet. I get the sense that I should uh, sit down. See what the regen rate is like. From 51% to 59. There we go. 16 classes, 12 races, 3 starting cities open. Interesting. 
So I, I guess rangers are probably heavily archery based. In early EQ, archery is not even worth mentioning, basically. <laughs> Alright, bunnies. Where are we? How long is the uh, server going to be up for public testing? Is there a hide corpse? Not a valid command. There's not. Well, I'm going to fight this rat in the meantime. Today only. Oh my goodness. So if I had, um, if I had access beyond this, right? If I had like tester access, I could stream that, right? Rat whiskers, rat whiskers. I love the spell effects. They look really awesome. PC only, but they don't close the doors, so maybe, maybe one day. I need one more rabbit, and then I can go explore the wild blue yonder. I felt like this corner had a really good supply of bunnies for a bit. It's all dried up. Five percent of the way to level two. I can't believe someone's three already. Probably someone's probably even higher than that. What this this came up like two hours ago, I guess. It looks yeah, it looks phenomenal. I love it. A bunny. See it. No, it's just the corpse from before. Here's a bunny. Another corpse. Ah. Tracker Bodil. He's friendly towards me. Can I dig? I want to start voxeling things. Where are the non-EQ-like elements? Um, the whole visual suite? Uh, when do I think we'll get a definitive rule set for TLP? About a week or two weeks after they announce the rule set, we'll get a definitive rule set after everyone has time to be mad and complain on the forums and then they backpedal and, and change them. But when do I think they'll announce the rules? Probably in like... Um, what is today? Is today the 27th, 28th? I think by like April 10th, we'll know. But it could be late. It could be like as late as like April 20 something. Nullus Corpse. Mourn. I can't believe that I am, uh. I see you hiding there. I can't believe I'm unable to find another bunny. Let's check out this water. How long has this game been in development? I 
Yeah, we've got a bunch of people from the Quorum Guild already in the Discord there, Annie. Across the bridge from town. I'm coming as fast as I can waddle over there. Someone sniped it. Rip. I find myself missing the combat music. Like, I want to hear more. Alright, maybe we'll have some uh, more bunnies out here. This is a less populated newbie area. A grass serpent. Bunny baby, let's go. You're going down. Seems like it's got like a 50-50 on dropping the stuff though, so fingers crossed. Started development in 2017. Wow. So it had a long period of quiet development, right? Because I feel like I only heard about it in the last like 12 months. It's pretty low key for a long time. Rabbit's foot. Oh no, Fat Matt, you're getting ads. I wish Twitch gave me the ability to just completely turn off all ads, but it, it doesn't. As far as I know, at least. Some poachers. Level 3. Huh. Uh, this test is, is one day. I don't know if that means like strictly 24 hours or like stops at midnight or what, but uh, yeah, one day, just today. Can I harvest these infinitely? Oh, it went away, I see. A bunny. Go down. Sanguine, hello? I have to demonetize my channel. You can can you demonetize your channel in Twitch? Rip. Like I have my ads set to zero, but it still shows um the the intro ads. I know you can demonetize YouTube, but I don't I feel like I've never seen a demonetize option on Twitch. A light foot pup level one. I'm kind of interested in fighting that. I assume it's a null. These deep vines are neutral. Okay. Time to die, null. It looks pretty cool. I like it. No flavor text when you engage it, though. Is there a who all? Nice, 81. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Level 10. My friend Drexen is here. Ooh, I got some fleece. That's awesome. Wow, Landon, level 50 monk. Do the uh, staff members get their own levels like based on rank or do you just get to pick? Because I noticed there's a bunch of 10s there's a 30, and there's a 50. And there's one level 3. Let's gather this. What do we get? Dandelion? My inventory is going to be full now. Susie's Thimble. A modest yet appealing flower is found in both yellow and pink varieties.
Flopsy McWhisker face. Eggs can be very colorful. Keep your ears peeled for some. Don't you like eggs? That's neither hair nor there. <laughs> hmm. Bunch of cheaters. Yeah, there's gathering. Yep, I love it. It is very fun so far, and it uh, feels like... It, I can only describe it as like feeling very cozy, like it immediately sucks me in. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm still excited for Pantheon. I have indeed talked about it to death, but that's okay. I'm excited for it. In fact, Pantheon is launching new content tomorrow, and me and some of my friends are going to raid that content, so I, I uh, look forward to it. Should I say my friends and I? Someone is going to leave a YouTube comment later. That's not Roman numerals. All right, go back over here and see if we can find more bunnies. Whoa, Enigma, really? You got to join our guild, Enigma. Did I see an air taco in here? Air Taco, what's up? Yeah, I mean, if someone points me to the aqueducts, trust me, I'll get there. Jingles just got level four. The race is on. Um, do I think we'll have an MMO renaissance? Man, it's hard to say, dude. That's really hard to say. The, the community has to be willing to play the games. That's the problem. So, for people who didn't see Monsters and Memories announced its, its launch. Ooh, I got an egg, but I can't I can't take the egg. No. Rat whiskers, you gotta go. Um, Monsters and Memories announced its uh, early access launch date. Ooh. Gatherable. Let's harvest it. And that date is January 2026. So like a year and a half from now. Which is pretty exciting. And Pantheon is pretty much knocking on the door of being in early access, like, right now. So, I, I'm i cautiously optimistic that, you know, in a couple of years, with this and those two games, we could have three new MMOs on, on the radar that are all, MMO, that are, that are all like, old MMO-inspired. They're all, like, sort of EQ-adjacent. Or, in the case of Monsters and Memories, like, EQ... Uh, like EQ 1.5. It's like extremely EQ. EQ next, get out of here. I mean, I just don't know why anyone would root against any... Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I wasn't paying attention. Here's level two. Corpse runs are in. I spawned with a vest. Did I have that before? I think it must have, right? Because I don't remember seeing my chest like this. All right. Back to it. Gotta delete the character. Hardcore run. I wasn't even looking. I was just assuming I would defeat that little mole pup. Um, yeah, I don't know why we would ever root against an MMO launching. I hope they all launch. Hi, Archie. Sorry, I, I didn't see your, your hello there at first. Um, I hope they all launch. Let me get that bunny. Let me get that bunny before I even loot. Like, it doesn't cost me anything to root for these MMOs. I obviously, like, I put money into Pantheon a long time ago, but that money's there. Oh no. My my corpse of shame is just gonna sit here. Ooh, there's a cave. I 
And Darkpaw is the company that is uh, currently in charge of EverQuest. Seems to be some sort of friendly fort. Daybreak owns Dark Paw Games. It's just a shell game. Each of their studios has their own, you know, subs subs. Each each of their games has it's like its own studio or something. Gatherable. What is that? Was that the that's the that's the moon? I love it. I just got Spirit of Wolf. Oh, thank you. I love the little cube of a moon. Probably not surprising, but it took it took like 10 seconds to download this, by the way. Very simple and smooth. I don't think EverQuest 3 is going to be fun for even one second. But I'm rooting for it, I suppose. I feel like I'm just like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so hard to, to pinpoint what made EverQuest the success that it was. That trying to make a sequel of it is like bound for failure because of the expectations that are levied upon you immediately. Wolf Whiskers will destroy those. Now we got Tree Sap. A sticky substance extracted from trees. I don't want to go too far. This corpse runs on. That's a big bear. Feels neutral towards me. Well, that's good. It's really nice and peaceful out here. The ambient sounds of like the birds chirping hits just right. It would be that easy, Wolf Song, but you can't convince the suits that that's how it should be. The bunnies continue to evade me. Oh, that's awesome to hear, Enigma. Uh, Bigger, are you talking about for this game? Um, it feels very EverQuesty to me. It feels like I'm in like. Um, it feels like I'm in like cross between Jagged Pine and uh, Kithakor Forest. It feels like a real forest. You know, a lot of EQ forests don't really feel like real foresty. Um, and this zone right here, this little city, feels like Surefall Glade. But I haven't hit a zone line yet. By the way, Bigger, good to see you.
Is there a day and night cycle? It's funny that there's like so many bird noises in here. This morning I was woken up by a bird like singing its heart out right outside my window. And I woke up and I was like, dang, that bird's loud. But then I was like, it's kind of nice. It woke me up like a half hour early from what my alarm was going to do. So I just laid there and enjoyed the song. What's up, Taco Bell? So, Enigma, I know this is the question you probably get like every 10 seconds. When is it going to release? Is this our jackpot bunny? Come on, bunny. I have become better at primalism, 19. Close. No zone lines, one massive contiguous world to run to the other human town is about 10 minutes. From there to Ogres is 20. And there's only, there is a day and night. It's 60 minutes for a full loop. Okay. Dude. Level two? Yeah, son, we're out of here. Way too slow. Yeah, I wanna. I need to distance myself from EverQuest once and for all so that I can enjoy other things in life. I need to stop letting them suck me back in. A pine yarn silver wolf. That's a big wolf for a level one. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. It said to me, why must your kind use violence instead of words? I apologize. I didn't know. I feel terrible now. I like that the the targeting thing shows me at the bottom. Like I can see the enemy's target. I wish it so that your kind would use words instead of violence the next time we meet. Heard. I need to go. I should just go sell. I'm level two. Yeah, baby. What's done is done. Can't take it back. Eight copper. Let's do it. Ooh. Only one copper for that. Seven for the police. It's like I can use that as fuel. Easter egg. Wolf pup fang. Okay. Trader Birch. A waste pouch. Three silver. I've only got two silver. Hmm. I like this. I'm gonna turn my volume up so you guys can hear it. Yeah, the footsteps on wood sound really nice. It sounds like Resident Evil 1. Oh man, I love it. One of the weakest areas of EverQuest I have always felt was like the audio. Protected Delta Wolf. I see nighttime is coming out. The stars on the on the skyline there. Huh. 
no release plans and won't be announcing anything soon. After this flash test, you make plans in announcing a longer term test. It's going to take a lot of time. I see. Yeah, I mean, as a player, it feels good. You know what I mean? It feels like the core systems here seem to be working, at least the running around combat vendor kind of stuff. A lot of sickly cubs. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're, we're going. Let's do this. People, I saw the moon earlier, shoddy. Yeah, the, the big square moon. I love it. It was awesome. Freeze. It actually does. I have one Pizza Hut pizza on the way right now. It's the first thing I did. They pay for it, too. Yeah, clonk him on the head. Griffith's bonk. Oh, man. Gain faction with the Steel Lions, the City of Leont, and the Cover. I did not lose faction with the Knolls. Two point eight per cent for a kill. Oh, yeah, my bad. There you go. Here, you know what? I will just... Um... Boop, there you go. Now we can just focus entirely on the gameplay. Level three. Is there? I should like click some of these things, right? Like uh, skills. Sense heading. Nay. Abilities. Social. Pet. Okay. Yeah, so right now there's no way for me to tell my cardinal directions. Right? There's no compass on here. A meadow hair. Level two. Auto runs in. That's nice. The movement feels really nice. Ah. Yeah, dude, that moon is so cool. I love that. How can a patch of fur, a clump of rabbit fur, I feel like every rabbit would drop that. A minor earthling. This guy's cool looking. He's tough. Have I killed Vox yet? Rip. How many gnolls are missing teeth? I think I've taken out like three gnolls so far, village, and I got killed by one gnoll. 
Is there some social aggro happening here? I'm losing. I don't like that I'm losing. Why am I, why am I losing? 1v1 me. Um, what's it regen like? It regens fast. I need a sit hotkey. Oh, there it is. Back in it. Let's go. I just need like two more five damage swings. Oh, he hit me for five. Don't do that anymore. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. He regent. We barely got him. Smooth stone, my quest item. Let's chill here for a second. Check our uh, EXP. We got the same amount as the other level two. I love this. I like that your character is kind of like sitting and eclipsing the window a little bit. It reminds me of that uh, 1999 um, little mirror that you would see in the stone UI when you open your inventory. Yeah, my only abilities are these three pet abilities, but I don't have a pet yet. Oh, I've talked to a trainer. Okay. Liverflap, are you ready for the upcoming uh, trolley lore episode of Drama Quest? Don't be jealous when I do a lore episode with her. We're going to release it on April 1st. It's darker than P99. Video. Oh, I could scale up the UI. Oh, oh, there's a little bit of a delay on that. Oh, real small. What do we want? Let's, let's just like... Go right there is fine. NPC view distance. Oh, uh, yeah. Crank that thing up. Whatever. I was hoping there would be like some uh, gamma option here. Oh, look at that's what I wanted. That's beautiful. I can see my currency, my EXP bar. 10 out of 10. Oh, wait, you guys can't see it because it's it's on the top. Let me put it at the bottom. There you go. Ninja loot? Well, there's even a built-in clock in the game. I think that's bad for business. You got to get rid of that clock. So I don't realize when I've blown my entire day playing, you want me to be sucked in. Funny. Is there a time command? Time 11.50 PM, day three of month one one. Cool, cool. We finally have our four clumps. Let's go, baby. Now we're about to be a real beast lord. Man, listen to the water flow. It's 
slash blade. 46 minutes to get four clumps of rabbit fur. I can get uh, throw, meditate, rescue companion, coordinate it, strike, and rescue warder. I've got to pay? Oh my gosh, I'm too broke. Do I have to unstack these? I'm going to wait for confirmation on turning these in because I don't want to have to refarm them. Full send 4x1 stack. I choose to believe. Word. Companions reawakening and spirit bond. Puts a target animal into a trance, allowing you to speak to them. I love it. Sacrifice your own strength to bring your water back to life. Describe it. Or don't. Oh yeah, spell bars on the left, not the hotkey bar. I like that. In order to create your first companion collar, oh no. One tr oh no. I sold my sap. Where do I find moonberries? We need one tree sap, two moonberries, and three wolf pup fangs. Well, we're on it. Staple master. Okay. Maley MacNeil. A torch is a gold? My guy. Okay, I need a tree sap and moonberries, and then either bear or wolf stuff. Oh, this is level four. I cannot kill this. I got some skill ups though. Club. Let's go. Be quiet, pirate. You like it? You know, this wolf or this this bear has a real roar. He doesn't sound sick. Just buy the moonberries, okay. Well, that simplifies that part of this. Remains of a sickly animal and a wolf pup fang. Can I, can I drag this? Oh, look, there's more stuff. I like this.
bear paw and bear fang. Oh yeah, we still need sap. And that sap we found was like totally random. New VR stream in 30 minutes. What are you talking about? Remains don't stack. I should have kept better track of where I got that sap from. I've got this bag. I think I can put stuff in there, yeah. What am I doing? I need to find wherever this sickly animal quest is, because I've got a pile of sickly animal stuff. Get out of here. This is a level one Lightfoot pup. Scrap of Ganola fur. Got a flaming sword. Who would I talk to about sickly animal parts? Elder Asen Thorn. Bring me three hides of a burly knoll, and I will give you one of my extra backpacks. Dang, I sold some knoll hides. Rip.
but no bear fang. I'll buy it just to have it on deck. I still need to find the house with the moonberries in it. See if there's fall damage. Not in the water, at least. I can't auto run in the water either. be this house. Torment. Reliable old compass. Oh, here's some moonberries. Oh, two silver. What? Thanks. Spider Fang. Did she even sell meat? She does. One silver. complete baby let's go i suppose if you want if you went out of your way to buy me meat it's only fair to hear my tale of woe listen my good friend for i bear a tale that ranks among the most sorrowful of all sit back and take a breath of the cool air and have a drink not only to fend off the chill but also to chill to the chill that resides within the chambers of my heart Knowles killed his family. The Knowles had taken much from me, and I swore one day I would have my revenge upon the gray knoll that led the pack. The Grey Knoll now resides deep within the ruins of Hillshade Hollow, protected by its monstrous brethren. My goodness. We got a whole novel. I was given an old amber ring. Take this ring to Alfric. He lives by the nearby stream. Okay. Let's um, just put this up here.
So what am I'm, I'm missing? Um, a bear fang and sap. I don't remember where I found that sap earlier. I think it was over by that uh, poacher nest or the skinners, I think they were called. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Or was it way up on that hill? It might have been up on that hill, right? I remember it looking just like a little tiny brown dot on the tree. Oh, there's some. I'm going to get attacked while I gather this. Cool, we got our sap. Now we just need our bear. Yeah, I would love to have like a like a week of access to just like dig into this. It'd be fun. I like their little tunics that they're wearing. Ooh, we got the null eye. I really love that icon. sickly bears out here. <gasps> Maybe we can spot some by clearing out some of the rest of the trash. Yeah, Force Axis, it is, it's Minecraft EverQuest, basically. It's a, it's a totally original MMO, kind of inspired by EverQuest, and in the style of Minecraft. That's the, the best way to describe it. You immediately can see the the EQ elements and feel them, you know what I mean? It feels a lot like EQ, but uh, the aesthetic is really endearing. And I assume there's like eventually an ability to like modify the world, like dig and stuff like that. Though I haven't experienced it just yet myself. Yeah, you can play right now. There's a flash test available, so anyone can jump in and come have fun. So this is made in Unity. Do you guys use any Unity assets? I wonder if it's hard with the, the unique um, art style. This guy had dropped a pile of loot. No overflow. Oh no. Oh, I have an overflow bag? What's that do? You can't loot with overflowing inventory. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna destroy this remains of a sickly animal. And then I'll take this, and then we'll go sell. Crafting vehicles? I have no idea. I assume not. Doesn't doesn't really feel like a vehicle kind of uh, kind of gig.
Game Warden Jacilda. Oh, this is the sick. Um, oh my gosh, my inventory is overflowing, so I can't. I can't turn in items. Can you drop things? Yes. How much EXP do I get? 18. Oh, it's like not even worth doing. Okay. I don't feel bad now. Alright, you're really close to the entrance. You might have some stuff. Bear, 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 bear fang? What do I have? Bear paw, bear fang. Do I need a bear pup fang? No, nope, just a regular old bear fang. I'm golden. get to two greenwood moonberries. They were in one of these houses. Is there PvP at a little lost? Not right now. brown bear collar. Place this collar on a brown bear in the Ponyarn Forest, allowing you to tame the companion. What about this protected bear cub? Ooh, a dark elf? Not in my forest. Now we just have to find a bear cub. Or a brown bear. Does it have to be a specifically just a brown bear, or could it be like any any brown bear? Or like a sickly brown bear, brown bear cub. Does it transform it into a different uh, NPC when I do it? I have so many questions. I want to watch that old movie, what is it called, like Beastmaster? Tex Avar is friendly towards me. Alright chat, keep your eyes peeled for bears. You know I gotta gather this. What is this, uh, rust? Oh, I don't have the mining skills rip. A meadow hare. This is what I would call a cozy game. This absolutely feels cozy. I imagine once it's nighttime and I can afford a torch, which is extremely expensive, um, it'll feel especially cozy. Uh, 
Um, I don't know about Charmed Ferrets. It is a really old movie, though. Is is there like a weird like Satan in that game or that movie? Like big red demon lord dude with black horns. The game just looks so good. Yeah, I think yeah, I think he had a bunch of stuff. I can't I could barely remember it. Last time I watched it, I was like still a kid. For sudden for some reason this this made me want to watch it. What's what's popping off over here? Hmm, what is this yellow bar? Oh, it's my for jumping. Near Greenwood cover. Thank you, Skeeter. I appreciate that. Do you know if they have to be a particular type of brown bear or is like any any brown bear right now I can uh I can tame? I want to avoid losing my collar, basically. So I don't want to give it to something that'll just like eat it. They don't, uh, they don't have any release date at all yet. Any brown bear cubs. Okay. Word. Oh, look, a little path. This is cool. I assume <laughs> if I follow this, I'm going in the wrong direction, though, right? Is this the guy that lives by the, the thing that I have to deliver the ring to? Probably. Mental note to come back here. Yeah, yeah, it looks... Oh, it's after? I thought I was going to use it first... Like, spirit bond it first, and then hand the collar to the bear. At least that's the way I read it. I'll try it both. I'll try it with the spell first, because, like, you know, the spell's pretty expendable. Swanee, what's up, what's up? Agreed, Enigma. All right, back to the Earthlings. So yeah, upcoming uh, interview schedule. I'm gonna be interviewing Hidden Tree, maybe sometime next week or the week after that to talk about Evercraft. I'm gonna be interviewing the lead dev of the Vanguard emulator to talk about the Vanguard emu. I'm gonna be interviewing, and it's not really interviewing, I'm gonna have Larry on the show, Level Up Larry, to do a lore episode with me talking about Kunark. So some good stuff coming up here pretty soon. Oh yeah, and uh, Tony Garcia, you know, one of the OG EQ devs, agreed to come on to talk about EverQuest lore. So we'll get to do some real deep dive EverQuest lore stuff with Tony Garcia. I got Tony. Next up after Tony, Holly Windstalker. Let's go. I'm going to ask. She's going to say no, but I'm going to shoot my shot. You know how it goes. Um. Well, I guess you'll have to watch the, the interview day, Draco. I would say we're not gonna we're not doing the episode with nothing to say, if that makes sense. What about J Chan? J Chan I'm pretty sure J Chan would tell me to get lost. Ah. 
she would leave me on red. I feel like earlier bears were abundant. I really don't want a level one sickly bear cub pet. Ross, yeah. He'll be coming back soon. What lore do we have to do, Eldoros? Brown Butcher, what is up? Brown Butcher, I was watching your uh, your old video where you played EverQuest using a drum set. How how did you go about doing that? Like, what's the process like? There is a there is a public test right now. You could log in. There's a bear, a wild adolescent bear. Am I gonna be dead for messing with this guy? I'm guessing that this is oh a willow wisp. That's cool. I'm guessing I'm about to die here. Spirit bond. Can I move this? Oh, that's perfect. He peers into my soul. Oh, baby. We're best friends now. It turns him into a level one. <laughs> I should just grab the sicklies, I guess. Now we're finally a real beast lord. Gather some, some wood. A bundle of sticks. Man, Niriak is a tough one. Yeah, I know. We're not going to get Cellos, sadly, I don't think. But we're definitely going to get Mischief. I don't know if Brown Butcher was ever truly quarming. I have to feed it? Hey, Brown Butcher, if you want, you can just toss the link to you playing EverQuest with the drum set in uh, chat here, if you have it handy. All right, pet, go handle this. Now you're getting jumped. Oh, that's cool. It even shows me swing in this view. You had no chance, buddy. A Finny clone with six month. You know what? Honestly, that's what I hope for too. I hope it's a Finny clone with six month unlocks so that I don't have to play. That would be the best. Let's go see if we can kill a skeleton over here, maybe. Whoa, my pet levels up. Oh, man. A whole new level of grinding just just woke up in my brain. Finny rule set is just what we would call vanilla. Like, there's no specials or anything. It was just the original server that had Agents of Change and Truebox. All right. He's level three, but I've got a level one pet backing me up. Can I take him? Ooh, 
assume my pet took aggro. Oh, that's not, he's, he procced something on my pet. He did a huge chunk of damage. This is bad. I think we, we could potentially do this. Alright, I'm gonna let my pet take aggro a little bit. Oh, he said no. That's not good. Suddenly we're losing. There's no sprinting. Oh, that sucks. It is cool. Yeah. It, it's uh pretty fun. He still has aggro on me. Okay. And he just reset. Well, that's interesting. I forgot to mention that my other interview coming up is uh, Xerion, Xerion from P99 Blue the one-time guild leader of Inglorious Bastards. So... Do I need to remake that collar to have a pet again? Uh, it feels good. You can get a rat, a wolf, or a bear pet so far. Oh, that's right, there's a rest spell. My body and mind must be stronger. Okay, now I'm at 100%. Hmm. Is it because my endurance is not full? Rest up for a minute and see. Can't tell if this is going up or not. Yeah, it's going up. Slowly. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's it's fun. Yeah, yeah, liver flap, I know. Oh, interesting. When I died, it removed my horizontal bar. Yeah, Kurt Schilling. Of 989 Studios or whatever. Kingdoms of, Kingdoms of Amalur, is that is that the game that he was making? Do I need to be like full full endurance to try this? No. Look at the spell effects. My spell fizzles out. Okay, he's hungry. I'm not sure how to feed him. Hmm. 
the hunger bar is going up by itself? Maybe? Maybe not? So it looks like this is his health bar, but also like this is his health bar? I'm not sure. Not sure what's happening with these. Oh, I'm crouching, not sitting. X is bound to like duck or crouch here natively, and that's what I use in EQ to sit. So I just have like this habit of pressing X. Okay. So then I'm guessing that it doesn't matter what the hunger stat is. Uh, occasion it is a lot of fun yeah it's very cozy nostalgic better seize the opportunity they might be all grown up by the time it comes out though but there's no release date planned It would be cool to have a game like this to play with your kids, though. Oh, man. Rip. I wonder what the stat differences are on the three pets, or if it's just a visual preference. Like, is there a difference between the bear and the rat, if you had a rat pet? Like, I would think the rat is weaker, but not positive. I do not know, Spawny. I know Ben Stein's son played EQ. Occasion, thanks for the follow. May as well sell some stuff here. anymore. Um, I play retail EQ mostly. I lead a, a guild called Faceless. Lead might be a strong word for it, to be honest. I, I administer a guild called Faceless, which exists on three EQ servers, a fourth one Wait. Yeah, three EQ servers and a fourth one coming soon. And then we have a Pantheon Tesser guild with like 80 people in it. Probably soon a Monsters and Memories guild. And one day an Evercraft online guild. These bear roars are a little bit louder than the other sounds, I think. Oh man, occasion. Um, I I do an EQ podcast called Drama Quest. You should uh, hit it up on YouTube. It, it's basically like a, an EverQuest history podcast. It talks about like the servers and the noble guilds and stuff like that. And I do a lot of interviews. Um, I encourage you to, to check it out. My 
pet's gonna level up any any time now. I don't have permission to loot. Huh. If my pet does more damage to me, does it steal my loot rights? I got EXP. I didn't play EQ2 really at all. Like I logged in, I saw what it was, and I logged back out. I'm playing a beast lord, the, one of the new classes released today, a human beast lord. I think once my pet gets level 2, I can start taking on level 3s. I wish I had played Final Fantasy XI back then. There's a bunch of old MMOs like Shadowbane and stuff that I wish I tried. Back in the day, I only played EverQuest and Day Off. And um, then I played a bunch of like random like Korean MMOs once I was a little bit older. Man, my pet was getting worked there. Need to find a way to hold better threat. Yeah, Dayak was fun. Well, they have, um, they've got Eden now. It's like, uh, the P99 of Dayak, I think. Gosh, look at me, I'm crouching again like an idiot. Tempted to try that. What I need to do is stop making guilds in MMOs, so I can just play as, like, some random guy and quit without, uh, any consequence. That is the secret. Accept no responsibility. What was that, um, that mob in Final Fantasy XI that was, like, unkillable for a long time? Pure, pure integrity or something? It was, like, some, some weird term like that. Absolute virtue. There you go. Thank you, Jomino. I like that name. It sounds it sounds like an enemy that should be unkillable. Absolute virtue. It sounds like it would be an Evangelion villain. Want to buy null playable race. Is there an emulator for old school Final Fantasy XI? The problem with starting fresh on those old emulators is like the player skill floor is so high compared to you. Like I went back and played, what was it, like Uthgard, one of the classic day off emulators. And when I got to Thid Bronchi, I'm just a guy who has, you know, hasn't played day off since I was like 12, right? And I was super excited for it. And, and the game is still really fun and enjoyable. I had a bunch of friends playing with me, but man, did we get worked in Thid Bronchi. Um, by th like, you know, really templated out players. And I was like, oh, that's right. Like, I'm playing against people who are playing, like, Classic Dayok and have played it probably, like, as long as I played Classic EQ. And uh, that's, you're, like, at a big disadvantage, right? Okay, we got a level 2 pet now. It's nighttime. What time is it in-game? 
8.45 p.m. So we have a long night time ahead of us. Let's go try to kill a level three. Horizon 11. Interesting. I played hit, mostly hit. I, you know, I think everybody tried like all the, the realms, so I did a little bit of that hopping around, but I settled on Hib. I like to play the underdog, um, and on my particular server, Hib was an underdog. I think we were like the the middle underdog. Like Albion was like super OP, Midgar was like 20 people played, and then Hib was sort of in the middle. And it was good because mids and hibs would unite to try to fight the, the Albzerg. Okay. Gotta put on your glasses, Wrecked. What is Lua? I just got introduced to Lua for the first time by playing uh, Pokemon Kaizo Ironmon. Interesting. Can't can't use this, but it's cool still. And they have this Lua thing, and it's like, whoa, it really enhanced my gameplay experience. I'm gonna go see what this sells for. I felt like on every server, the Zerg was Albion. And like the ultra hardcore, like talented PVPers, RVRs were um, mid. Whoa, whoa, Andy! Thank you so much for the 1999, the sacred number of bits. Really appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, on my server, we had this person, I think, who was in mid named Echoic. And they were, like, supposedly, like, an 8-boxer or something. And it was just, like, a... Like, one one class and then seven of the other class. And they would just roll around and, and like, AE stun and, and crush everybody. Um, I forget what class they played, especially since, like, each realm had, you know, their own names for all the class types, but... I do remember the name Echoic. Oh, look at this ogre. Oh, look at that guy. I like his mohawk. That's cool. Shout out to Ferglin. Yeah, I feel like back then, boxing was like a much different thing. I was like, wait, you could play like multiple characters? You know, it is like incomprehensible to me as a kid that someone was playing that many characters. One silver, baby. So, a torch is over one gold. That's crazy. I was thinking maybe I'd hit like 10 silver and it'd pop up to a gold, but nope, it's 100. Makeshift torch, one gold, four silver. Mm, okay. Maybe it was 10 silver. I feel like the torch actually is not doing a whole lot for me. It might have been Mordred. Skeeter, do you remember that name, Echoic? I really can't remember what server. The only server I remember, Mordred sounds familiar, and then Pendragon, but was Pendragon their test server? When are we going to get more Quorum content? Also, will you be rolling Necro or Monk when they landlock the XR on June 1st? PQ EverQuest. I doubt. I doubt I'll play more Quorm. I might come back and do some raids with uh, with Project Faceless just to help out a little bit, but um, Quorm is just a really, really massive time commitment, and I'm, I just barely have any free time 
like my daughter is getting older and staying up later every every week it feels like you know what i mean and i just don't try to i try not to do this stuff while she's um awake like today i'm lucky she's she's basically at school and uh i got out of work really early today because you know, friday aloha fridays so i had this opportunity to, to stream right now look at kith over here is seager in here too no logged off punk yeah so maybe we were on the same server man a moss trooper poacher let's go I like his little bandana. His suave haircut, too. You guys like the tunnel snake? Alright, pet, take aggro for a little bit. There you go. Is there sit aggro in this? Oh, yeah, there is. Alright, back to me, back to me. It's not gonna make it. We need to land some fives here quick or else Pet's gonna die and I'm still gonna lose. There's Pet. I wonder if my pet steals some of my EXP. That's right, you flee. Wait, he stopped running off, yeah. He regened up to 20 and he's like, I'm back in it. Can I Revive, I can revive my pet live. Let's go, baby. Target is too far away. I'm not, I'm not targeting him. I'm gonna hit him again. Keep him low. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we will summon our pet. Now my pet does not miss out on the EXP. Am I gonna go hardcore on it? I mean, I want to, but yeah, I just don't. I don't know that my life gives me the opportunity. I heard that Monsters of Memories, like one through 50 time is gonna be slower than P99 Project Quorum by a hefty amount, so. TLP is a sweet spot for me because you can go hardcore for like two days a month or two days every like two or three months, you know what I mean? And that is enough to stay caught up and, and competitive and, and uh, all that. Games that have a really long lead time with my current lifestyle will be a big challenge. And I probably have to be like realistic about, you know, my ability to do those things. Mordred was the free-for-all, so you could fight anybody. That's probably where I went then. Yeah, it looked like I just had to get nothing. Like, I had to have nothing on my target, and then I could cast it. Yeah, nighttime is a little bit dark. Well, Quorum Luckland launch is like years away still, so who knows where we'll be at that point. And there's no level increase. I could see myself doing the Luckland launch because I really want to play Luckland on uh, the TACP client when it's fresh. But who knows? There might be other competing emulator servers at that time. Now that, um, like, the, we have Quorum and TACP, 
they're open source, it's really easy for someone to spin to spin one of these servers up and, and to do some impressive stuff with, with only like minor workload. Really the thing I would worry most about is the player base getting um, fractured too much because it's too easy to make a, a really high quality server. Oof, that's rough, Nick. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see another emulator server that hits Lucklin sooner. Or at least not literally the same time that Monsters and Memories hits Lucklin. So hey, who's uh who's spending fifteen hundred dollars to go hang out at San Diego Dark Paw for two days? Anybody here doing that? Laugh. Yeah, where's my pet? Hey, keep up. We don't have any time for dead weight here, okay? Oh, that you want to talk back. Why does my companion feel neutral towards me? I feel like he, he should like me a lot. Oh my goodness. Someone give me a, a mining a mining pick or something. We just found the jackpot. PvP would really be cool here. All this day -oc talk has me hungry for some PvP action. This almost looks like a toll booth to tax people coming over the bridge. Are you going to at Taco Bell? Nice. Wow. Let us know how it is. I was thinking about it, and I just like... I don't know, man. I'm a big EQ fan, so I kind of want to do it, but... It also feels like... Um, like an inappropriate price point. You know what I mean? Later, Cajun. Living there definitely makes it a little bit easier, right? Because if you have to get the flight, it's like 500 on top of that. And then lodging, who knows what that is. You're easily like well over 2K. Totally blind. I've reached Harvest Reach. I think for, for $1,500, I could book a cruise dude with like uh open bar yeah somewhere in the bahamas all you could eat buffet The, the goodie bag they're giving out is pretty cool, right? Having um, having the album is neat, but I already own the album. Ah. Dude, Nick, that is a fucking lot of cheese, my man. You're absolutely right.
My pet's health thing is not going up. Do I need to, like, sit still? Here, Kai. Afternoon. You're stuck at work. Oh, rip. I love it. Yeah, this game is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I can't wait for it to come out one day. And uh, when it does, I will be right there playing it. I'm going to clone myself so that I can play uh, Monsters and Memories and this and Pantheon at the same time. MMO Renaissance 2026. Let's get it. What was that other one? Camelot Unchained? What, what even happened to that one? Right now it is bomb. They're having a flash test, so anyone can log in. Um, I'm sure somebody in the chat here has the link handy. They could throw it down, but it's Evercraft Online, like .com, I think. Just Google Evercraft Online and you'll find it. And they can get you all set up there. There's a Discord you can join, but it's really quick. Uh, email registration and then one button, download, boom, and you're in. Very fast. Game is very fun. At 35 out of every 60 minutes when it's not nighttime. Shots fired. Not really. It, it still is fun at night, but it's a little bit dark. Rip Camelot Unchained. Skeeter, can you confirm what you guys mean when you say the remainder of the day? Like midnight close? Is there like a set time where this is going offline for sure? Yeah, I heard it used to be darker. Pantheon is also too dark. They're doing a lighting pass um, in a couple days, actually. And uh, I'm excited to see it be less dark. Every game wants to capture that uh, feeling of EverQuest being a, a human at nighttime. Look, this is me with the torch, dude. We're way out of our comfort zone here. These mobs are big. Okay, I see what you're saying. What is the largest number of players you've had concurrently logged in before? I saw we approached 100 here. I don't know if, if it's still going up. Yeah, over 100 now. You did a weekend one time, right? Afton Barley Keg. How's it going? Hail Zade, the fields here are just lousy with pests. Ever seen a grain maw up close? Horrifying stuff. Their mandibles can strip a field bare in days. Can I help with the infestation? Well, they're um, a lot stronger than me. All right, bring the mandibles as proof. Okay. What is, is this KOS? No, it's neutral. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't do anything. Looks like it's... I see that plus sign. Does that mean it's like 3 plus 1, like 4 levels higher than me? We're going to sit and rest for a minute. I have not been to Leont. I would, I would welcome a teleport back to Leont, or to Leont, to check out the other city. I don't mind. Right around 200. That's awesome. The sun is coming up. It's getting better out here. Yeah, please do, Skeeter. That would be great.
I was just thinking about that. Like, will the pet make it? Landon got me. You have been summoned by Landon. Oh, man. We're in, like, a real big city. My companion came. Who is this guy? Drink and drain? Oh, what's up, dude? Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for the surge of Wildfoot. Drano, thanks for the sub. Yeah, this is awesome. Hey, Drink and Drano, I don't know if you saw. I added a new section to the Discord where um, subscribers and patrons can ask. Like, it's a little Q&A section. Not just to ask me stuff, but to ask people that I interview. Like, right now, Zoysite is in there. And it's down to answer questions for people who watch the Zoysite interview and have follow-ups. If I missed anything, blah, blah, blah. I think max level is 50. There's a GM that was level 50. This area looks awesome. I love that castle vibe over there. A meadow spider. Oh, it's capped at 10 right now? Okay, that's cool. So it looked like there is a Knoll dungeon in game. I haven't, obviously, I don't know where it is, but like NPCs mention it. Is that actually in game right now? And can you go grind there functionally at level 10, like a group of level 10s? Sweet. I can't wait to check out Not Blackboro. Uh oh. Maryland Spore Spotter's son has been taken by Knowles, aka. Uh... Martin Sayer's son, Joseph Sayer, has been taken by Lord Elgnut. Let's go rescue Harold. Block Burrow internally, that's awesome. Ooh, a tamed wolf. Oh, oh, oh. Well, hello. Level 2 at least should be pretty easy. Larry just leveled to 3. Is that is that Mr. Level Up himself? A crow feather. Scout ad, let's go. Dang, Jingle's level 5. Going hard. I think there's three cities, and they said like 10 minutes between one, one, the two human places, and 20 minutes from the closest human city to the ogre city. So, that's three big areas. Plus, we know we have at least block burrow. Um, so, at least four areas. The areas between them count. It seems like there's a bunch right now. Because I ran into like three different areas so far. Not counting this... This, uh, town. A scout is level two, and a bandit is also level two. Okay. Rest here while we wait for them to path out of, uh, social range. I 
thought I was I thought I was about to get annihilated. Hey, Landon. Oh, nice. Loot is in. Bow is in. Dance is in. Alright. We're going to try it here. And we're perfectly good. I hope they have camps like that. Slash finger, not a valid command. Slash rude, not a valid command. Slash yell, not a valid command. Slash pizza, not a valid command. Uh, slash set level 10, not a valid command. Okay, you know, you have to check. Highway man's hand. That's kind of cool. Human kidney. All right, we're really, uh, you know, we're very open about what we're taking off these guys. Beta buff, right? Beta buff. Oh, we got some Easter eggs. Got to get in there. Get my hands on these. All right, bandit first. Is the uh, NPC system like there are named mobs, but they have PHs, just like EQ style? I'm guessing it is. Like perhaps in, in theory, if we camped this area long enough, we might come across a named bandit that could have like a rare and common drop. Decaying Molder. Molar. Yes, I love it. Drexen, what's up, dude? By the way, good to see you. Mortician, by the way, good to see you too. Big Pamela. You ready for this new TLP? You remember, uh, Pamela, when you were gonna raid with us, but then you just kept pulling trains in the beat? I remember. Better raid this time. Uh, Monk was available, but, you know, gotta go with the pet. The Beast Lord was one of the two new classes introduced for the flash test, and I was like, yeah, let's let's explore one of the new ones. I really like the layout of this camp. Uh-oh, we got we got oh 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 that's not good. I like the layout of this camp. This seems really nice. Bring a good group here. We got plenty of mobs. I wish I had a pet heal. I'm sure eventually that'll be a thing. Got the kill. Let's get our loot. All right, scoot. Oh no, the wolf runs at spirit of wolf speed. I suppose it makes sense. Strafe? Strafing does it. It feels like, wow, wow, actually, this is awesome. It's a lot cooler than Kano's. You walk in and it actually feels like a city. Garrick's Gravy and Goods. The Blue Sheep. They got a little line on their, uh, 
on their tabard. The poor house. I feel like, um... I feel like I can... I can feel that the love is baked in to this. Like the names of the, the places. It, it feels lived in. It's very well designed. It's fun and whimsical, but not silly. The Rugged Redeemer. Building names are like, must be pun or alliteration. Yeah, this is dope. Wow, it just looks so nice. All right, let's climb this building. The music is good. Hot tub? No teleporter. It looks great. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right, folks. Well, I am just about out of time here, so I've got to take off. But this has been super fun. I can't wait to play it again. And I hope I get more opportunity to stream it in the future. Uh, look forward to tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Mad Run launches with Pantheon. So we're, we're going to have two or three groups of people uh, pushing that little little mini raid for Pantheon. So come check that out, please. It'll be the first time that we've seen Mad Run, I think, since the refactor. Uh, so pretty exciting. And also um, tomorrow morning or maybe late tonight, the interview with former dev, EQ dev, Gnarly, aka Zoysite, will go live for non-patrons, so check that out. Or if you want to watch it right now, hit up the Patreon. And uh, last but not least, play Evercraft online today while it's available because it is something special, absolutely. And I hope to see you in here sometime soon. Let's check out if we have uh, any any pals to raid right now. Not right now. All right, so we're going to wrap up, folks. Thank you so much, and see you later.